I used to love walking in a small cathedral town by the water, looking across the moat at the cathedral. How lovely it was, and how marvellously peaceful. Such an extraordinary sense of peace. Shanti, shanti, shanti. The peace that passes understanding. I can shut my eyes. I can shut my eyes and see it all so clearly. I can see that the cathedral and its enormous, much taller than the trees. I can see the green grass and the water and the golden sunlight on the stones and the slanting shadows between the buttresses. And listen, I can hear the bells, the bells and the jackdaws, the jackdaws in the tower. Can you hear the jackdaws? There are white clouds and the blue sky between them. It's so pale, so delicate, so exquisitely tender. And the swans, the swans, like the inventions of heraldry, romantic, impossibly beautiful. And yet there they are, real birds, in a real place, so near to me now that I can almost touch them, and yet, so far away, thousands of miles away, far away, on that smooth water, moving as if by magic, softly, majestically, effortlessly, floating effortlessly. I would sit there, I would sit there looking and looking, and in a little while, I would be floating too. I would be floating with the swans on that smooth surface, between the darkness below and the pale clouds in the sky. Floating at the same time on that other surface, between here and far away, between then and now. Floating on the surface, between the real and the imagined between what comes to us from the outside and what comes to us from within. From deep, deep down here, floating, floating like a white bird on water, floating on the great river of life. A great, smooth, silent river that flows so still. So still, you might almost think it was asleep. A sleeping river that flows irresistibly, life flowing, silently and irresistibly, into a living peace, all the more profound, all the richer and stronger, and more complete, because it knows all your pain and unhappiness, it knows them, and takes them into itself, and makes them one with its own substance, and it's into that peace that you're floating now, floating on this smooth, silent river that sleeps and is yet irresistible, and is irresistible precisely because it is sleeping and I am floating with it, effortlessly floating, and not having to do anything at all, just letting go, just allowing myself to be carried along, just asking for this irresistible, sleeping river of life to take me where it is going and knowing all the time that where it is going is where I want to go. Where I want to go into living peace along the sleeping river irresistibly into the wholeness of reconciliation. Asleep. Asleep on the sleeping river. Above the river in the pale sky there are huge white clouds, and as you look, as you look at them, you begin to float upwards towards them. Yes, you begin to float upwards towards them. And the river now is a river in the air, an invisible river that carries you on, carries you up, higher and higher, out of the hot plain, effortlessly, into the freshness of the mountains. How fresh the air feels as we breathe it. Fresh, pure coolness.
coolness and sleep, through coolness, through sleep, into reconciliation, into wholeness, into living peace, into living peace, peace.